In 2023, the Isle released a map, new dinosaurs and brand new mechanics into the game. But what can we expect in 2024? Well, looking at comments from the living roadmap and the developers themselves, we could expect to see quite a few stuff over the next year or so, and some of them we could see this year. So this is what you could expect to come to the Isle in 2024. They are revealed a handful of dinosaurs in their living roadmap and there's a few of them that are still yet to be released into the game. So these are the best bet to start when you're looking at what you can see dinosaur wise to come to the game this year. Now note, not all of these will come to the game this year, this is just a pool of potential dinosaurs that are most likely to come this year. The first one is Diabloceratops, this is probably the closest to release in terms of all the other playables that I'll be mentioning on this list. So it's probably going to be the first one out of the bunch. In fact, if you look at the living roadmap, it's the first one out of the bunch here. However, Diabloceratops will be a fun-sized herbivore that will be introducing a brand new mechanic which is sparring into the game, allowing you to clash with other Diablos, locking horns and doing other actions as well while sparring. As mentioned in their end of November dev blog, Diabloceratops is still in testing and they aim to hit the nail on the head when it comes to this dinosaur. This includes its mechanics and all the animations to ensure it pops, which also lays the framework for another upcoming playable, which is a part of the Apex system, which is Triceratops, as well as Tyrannosaurus are also slated to come via the living roadmap and from the plethora of dev comments, it's likely that these two will be coming after Diabloceratops as the next bunch to come. This would introduce the Apex system and with Triceratops, it's likely that it's gonna be building off of the foundations that Diablo Ceratops will be introducing to the game. And Tyrannosaurus, well, that's going to be a different beast in itself, and that's going to be a very exciting one to see in the game finally. However, these will not be on the official servers initially. They'll likely just be on the unofficial servers or community servers, mainly for balancing reasons. On the living roadmap, the second last dinosaur mentioned was Myasaura. In fact, I've kind of got the order a little bit wrong here because the next dinosaur comes before Myasaura, in the living roadmap. However, this was mentioned in their previous December dev blog where they did mention that this dinosaur has had its establishing poses made and animation about to begin in terms of its development. They've probably already seen that development go ahead. This friendly Hadrosaur will be the first Hadrosaur proper to make its way into the game if we exclude Tenontosaurus. However, we probably won't see this one until the latter part of this year if it does come this year because it's in relative infancy in terms of its development. Oviraptor is likely to come before Myasaura, especially if you look at the living roadmap. This is the Egg Thief, as stated by the Owl developers themselves, especially also mentioned in their previous Trello roadmap, which said that this dinosaur is going to come in update 7. Obviously, since it's been rehashed, it's no longer bound to updates like that. This is going to be a very nice dinosaur to come to the game, a very colourful model, and will be an omnivore, which means that you'll have a plethora of die options to choose from as well, pretty much like Bapiosaurus, among others. Finally, the final dinosaur mentioned in the living roadmap, this is Kentrosaurus, a small, spiky stegosaur. This is likely going to focus on bleed more than anything because of those huge spikes, and the concept art kind of alludes to that as well. Anyways, a very exciting dinosaur and will be a very nicely well protected herbivore to make its way into the mid tier category in the game. Will it come this year? I'm not too sure, but there's always that hope. This was mentioned in the December dev blog. The mutation system will allow you to essentially mutate your dinosaurs and spec them into specific things as you grow it as well. This is something that they have said is pretty much done. But they did also mention that not all mutations have been designed or added to the current system. And so it will likely be something that they can do over time to ensure better balance is applied. This is also something that they said they will allow server owners to customize the values of of each mutation as well as enable and disable specific mutations through server configs as well so it's likely this is something that we'll see grow over the course of this year as well 
Venom finalization is one of the lesser known things that is mentioned in the uh, living roadmap. However, we're likely to find out more information on this one soon because if I, when I was looking at the Discord server, there was a lot of chat mentioning that this week, the Venom finalization will have a meeting. Well, the developers will have a meeting discussing Venom finalization, which means it's likely maybe in the next couple dev vlogs, we'll likely be able to find out more on what this finalization on this mechanic will be. That being said, this will be one of the core things that is mentioned on the living roadmap and is a core mechanic that's likely going to be making its way through and through this year and we'll definitely be finding more out about this one soon. A handful of dinosaurs will be getting tweaks this year. Two of them mentioned on the living roadmap and another one that was alluded to in developer comments. So the first one doesn't come from the living roadmap, but this is Truodon. This was mentioned by one of the developers who is Punch Packet, who recently revealed in a comment regarding Truodon when asked about Truodon, saying that they are planning to do some big tweaks to Truodon in future to make it easier to play. This could be something that could be, you know, worked with, with Venom finalization perhaps, but it also is something that we'll probably find out more about in future dev vlogs on how they're going to rework this dinosaur and make it funner and easier to play for us all. Do you guys think that Trudon at the moment is an easy to play dinosaur and do you think it definitely needs a rework or do you think it doesn't need a rework? Let me know in the comments. But the next creature that is getting a big rework is Stegosaurus. Stego is likely to be adjusted this year to be classed as an apex alongside the introduction of Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is because of it being one of the strongest dinosaurs already in the game, but the developers want this further tweaked so it can stand up against Rex. This then means because of this, Stego will ultimately be smited out of the official servers, like that of Rex and Trike not being able to be playable in official servers due to balancing reasons. Because it's been moved to be an apex and balanced around the apexes, it will no longer properly fit in the official servers, which will be very unfortunate. But for those who hate dealing with Stegos, he'll now have a server and a safe haven where you won't be able to deal with them. Ultimately, this is something that would fall under the Stego Stegosaurus kit adjustments which is on the living roadmap and the final thing that is getting a kit adjustment is Dinosuchus. Now I'm not exactly sure what the adjustment to Dinosuchus will be and I know a lot of people have spoke about this and what they think it could be but all we know so far and what the developers have alluded to is that this is going to get a animation rework and it's going to get a bunch of new animations. However it's likely going to get more because it would have stated that it is an animation rework than a kit rework or adjustment so maybe like stego we could see other things get tweaked about it if there is any other information regarding that of dino Sucus, let me know in the comments because this is one that i've actually found hard to find out about the stegosaurus was very simple to find out about the dino Sucus, i've searched everywhere and unless i'm just not looking in the most obvious spot then i've likely missed it but that being said those are the dinosaurs that are likely be getting tweaked this year. Well, dinosaurs and prehistoric crocodile, that is absolutely massive. What do you guys think? Which out of those dinosaurs or creatures that you think deserve the tweak the most? And which ones do you not want to be tweaked? Let me know in the comment. But anyways, that is some of what you can expect for the Isle of Rima this year in 2024. Of course, 2023 was a big year. And can the Isle of Rima capitalize on that and make 2024 an even bigger and better year? And also, once this roadmap, the living roadmap is fully boxed off or nearing completion, we might even see further expansions of that roadmap to outline more content that's coming in the future of the game which i'm going to be very excited for as well anyways guys hope you enjoyed if you are new and you want to check out another video feel free to check out this video that talks about what you could expect in path of titans in 2024 then you can compare which one seems to have a potentially better year ahead that being said i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one have a great day and peace